Now then, a little bit different for me today. You won't get my ugly mug in the picture. But we have some Star Wars The Acolyte news, but I want to ask you a question first. Is The Acolyte going down the route of Willow? Will Disney and Lucasfilm be pulling it from their servers so we will never be able to see this trash pile of a show on our screens ever again unless you buy it physically? Just a question for you, you fine folks. Nailed it! And before we kick on, if you wouldn't mind a couple of free things you could do that would help me out, please like and subscribe. Both are free things you could do and they would help me out massively. But today we are going to Kotaku. Star Wars, the Acolyte fans worry the entire show might disappear after Disney takes down the store. Holy moly, folks, are we going down the road of the Willow TV show? What Disney put out, the fans hated it, the critics hated it, everyone fucking hated it, and they made it disappear from their servers, from Disney Plus, their failing streaming services. What are your thoughts? And this is from Kotaku. Kotaku, the trash pile that is Kotaku, with Melissa McCunte. For fans of Quimmer, Osha, and their twisted journey along the dark side, I think the only fans of this show were the shippers and a few fucking crazy people on Twitter. Star Wars The Acolyte not getting renewed for a second season was disappointing enough, but now some are worried the first season might disappear from Disney+. Plus, As well after the show's merch was removed from the online shop. Yes, Disney have removed all merchandise for the Acolyte. Not a fucking surprise because the Acolyte absolutely was dog shit. And that's an insult to dog shit. Yes, with the store, with Disney and Lucasfilm taking the merchandise away. So fans, well I say fans from weird people can't buy the merchandise. That weird people can't make Quimmer and fucking OSHA fuck like crazy little fucking scumbags. Are we going to see a turn from Disney and Lucasfilm? I don't I don't think Lucasfilm is is going to be saved, but maybe Disney, maybe Disney. They don't like to be proven wrong, but just maybe, just maybe this might be the only time they do they allow us to see their faults. I did see this on Twitter last night. I'm trying to find the Twitter feed, but I can't find it. People were worried, people were asking these crazed Twitter these crazed acolyte fans on Twitter with no pictures with Vavems in their bios and the Palestine flag and the LGBTQ mafia flag. They were all begging people to go to the merchandise shop and buy everything possible. And they're begging people to go and sign the petition, which has only got 700 signatures. Holy moly, yes, the acolyte is dead. Yes, Disney and Lucasfilm are wounded but will they recover from this wound or is this wound a massive massive deep cut let me know your thoughts in the comments section if you like the video smash that like button please think about subscribe to me both are free things you could do and help me out massively if you didn't like the video i thank you anyway for stopping this long i really do appreciate it and if i really upset you Sweet Baby Inc, Kotaku and Melissa McCunte are calling. Go answer that call because I really could not give it a flying fuck. I will see you in my next video. Peace. <laughs>